So this brings us to the showcase portion of the event. And all I can think of is that damn spinny wheel and Bob Barker saying, come on down. That's the price is right. Yeah. I used to watch that when I'd stay home from school and pretending that I was sick. I was just like, I, at a very young age, I was like, you know what? I know they have the D.A.R.E. program, but I don't care about that. I need to experiment with drugs. But one thing I will not mess around with is not having my dog or cat spayed or neutered. That is not something I will play games with. Absolutely not. It is imperative that you spay and neuter your pets. Only you help, can help control the pet population. <laughs> we can't. Our pets are spayed and neutered. Thanks, Bob Barker. All of them. All of them. All right, let's get going. <laughs> we have like 82,000. <laughs> Oh my god. Shout out to you if you made it this far. Holy shit. I would've... <sighs> wow. You really like sports cards fans to like hang out for that. So let's uh, start with football. You got the Devontae Adams. That's numbered as well. The Aaron Rodgers stained glass. This isn't a custom either. This is just a color match. It's and so just cool. before the Chicago people, we have a friend who's thrown a couple of cards in our showcase. We would not have this Packers stuff. Yeah, fuck the Packers. Yeah. Tom Brady sensations. More Brady. You know, one thing I've noticed, Court, is there's a lot of uh, goats. Yeah. As the kids would like to say. This this is a custom label, and HGA knocked it out of the park. And, you know, I, I'm really excited that uh, as we get through this, again, we have all different brands of slabs. We are not, like, you're going to you're gonna see the, the HGA, you're going to see Yeah, we're PSA. like old school, old country buffet. You know what I mean? Well, you, something for everyone. Somebody wants pork chops, you get some pork chops. Somebody wants crappy ham, you get some ham. You want mashed potatoes? Good. Salad bar, we got you. 14 desserts, boom. Absolutely. All the dessert. All right. Their mascot was a B, and I never understood why. I get it, like, with the lettering. OCB? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I never understood, like, why being a fat ass at a buffet. I got to tell you that I did not know that they had a mascot, so I don't know what that says about you. <laughs> you know, I don't frequent buffets. I find them to be appalling. I just, I didn't know that they had a mascot. That nasty, look at those laundry tags. Oof. LaVisca, LaVisca, uh, TJ Watt, numbered out of 50, CD Lamb Prism, Auto. That's a nice auto too. Russ, the orange tops platinum. Yeah, I just posted this on our Instagram today. Another LaVisca, numbered out of 10, and it's got the Go, Go Jag Jags. Offs at the bottom. Jag all right, you didn't give this card a lot of love. It hasn't even posted yet, but this is one of the cooler cards we picked up. The I Cosmic. thought I posted this. What's that? I thought I posted no, this. No, it hasn't been posted yet. You said no, we've posted enough LaVisca. So much LaVisca. Yeah, the super short print. So we're going to be in Ship Shawana. Oh, look at this, BGS. Yeah, oh, son of a bitch. Cole Komet Immaculate RPA. The Mooney Rookie. That's jersey numbered. That's 11 out of, is it out of 23 or 27? Uh, You're going to have to look at the back. Is it on the back? One. 27. 27. Jersey numbered. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Patty Mahomes. What's the pop on this one? It is two. Gold fluorescent numbered out of 20. Nice. Sam Darnold scope out of 99. So football and predominantly QBs. Yeah, absolutely. And LaVisca Chanel. Yeah. Baseball now? Yeah, sure. Tatis gold. This is a pop one, yeah? Yep. Number out of nine. And it is the thickest card I've ever so seen. It is so fat. Like, look, at, here's PSA. These are both PSA slabs. Look how fat this one is compared. It's a thick boy with four Cs. Love it. Blue Bob, numbered out of five. This one is super rare. It's Tops X. Uh, it's a limited Tops edition. Steve Aoki. Steve Aoki, yeah. It's, uh, and it's a Funfetti. It's three of five. Uh, this card is, like, so dope and so rare and uh, very unique. I look at all these awesome cards, and the triple threads is probably the coolest one I've ever pulled. But, like, every big card that we have, you pulled. Yeah, it's true. The Golden Touch. So. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you can keep going. I oh. was saying, I wasn't trying to steal the Ken Golden thing. Like, uh, oh. that was, like, complete accident. I said that. I know, I'm and I'm like. Of, and I'm like. <laughs> it's cringeworthy. Cringe. I think all of these are Bobby Witt now going forward. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so sad. Look at all these. These are all Bobby Witt. Got the, got the chrome in the back. Yeah. Paper, 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 paper. And the chrome. Yeah. Lots of Bobby Witt. So if you're prospecting him, we got you. Little, this is like our one hockey slab, guys. We're not big hockey peeps. Kirby Dak is my guy, though. I love him. We, we, we had a very good 
year with hockey. We did. We did. Shout we out just... to Alexis Lafreniere. Yeah, for sure. We pulled his canvas and it gemmed. That was a beautiful card. Yep. I but, have a $20 blaster. Yeah, that I like degenerate my... I just... That's such a funny story. I feel like I... I could ramble about it, but we I pulled a blaster box at like a Walmart in some podunk hillbilly town when I stopped to go to the bathroom yep. <laughs> at the drive through like Wisconsin. And it, there was like a thousand dollar card in there. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, and then we do actually have a bunch of Kirby Dax off at uh at PSA. Yeah. Got them in. This uh this one got a ten on the the auto. Yep. It's a pretty card. So he's such a cute kid too. He's so adorable. He's always so smiley. And then your husband's not just totally sitting right next to you. He's like 12. I mean, he's like... I don't think he's kid. 12. But he looks like he's 12. He's adorable. Like, he looks like a little adorable cherub kid. He's cute. La Liga Blue, Frankie. And La Liga Red. Red. I've, I've, I've seriously graded like 30 Frankie de Jong's, and I have yet to get a gem on one of his cards. Maybe it's telling you something. Yeah. Tenali, the orange. orange. Ferran Torres, the contender's Red. Red. Jude Bellingham. And a little more HGA. This one's got some tens, y'all. Tens. Yeah, so what we'll do now is we will break and then we will bring up the main event. Everybody loves basketball, and I feel like we're bringing some decent cards. I think so. To the show, to put in a showcase for basketball. Absolutely. It's time! And we have reached the final set of cards. Main event. Yeah. Everybody loves basketball. Basketball rules the hobby. I personally think we have acquired some cool stuff over the last uh, few months and years. And this will be some of the stuff that will be available either in the $15 to $200 box or the showcase. And also, we started out collecting basketball. Like, that's what we collected. So we have the most of that. Yeah. The basketball sexy. It's fun. The NBA lets you share their videos. They promote They promote the fun of the game. It's, it's the best sport to uh, watch. Yeah. I think mean, baseball's fun, too. Yeah, baseball's fun to get loaded at. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a Cubs fan, so baseball isn't too much fun. Well, and also, like, football's fun. I like tailgating. I don't know, man. I like sports. But I'm so a Bears fan, too, so until Justin Fields takes over, it's sadness. It's, it's hard because I just, I like sports in general. I love them all. Yeah, it's, yeah. So, except for golf. I, I could live my whole life without watching golf. That is not my bag. All right. <laughs> and You just pissed off every middle-aged white male that watches this video. I'm sorry. Golf like, is life. That's fine. I personally do not. I like to go to Top Golf and drink and hit some balls into holes. Oh, you, yeah, there's a joke in there, but I'm not touching that. <laughs> All right, let's get on with this. And Justin Spieth is my guy. Yeah. Which I don't even know. That just sounds like a very golf thing to say. Patty Williams, cracked ice out of 16. Patty Williams. This was the card I referred to earlier. If I'm being brutally honest, if somebody wants it, they're going to have to pay. We're firm on pricing. Last just did eight something. His cards are tracking up. That's numbered out of 10. Yes. Another Patty Williams. Kobe, our guy, RPA. Kobe, the Origins. We actually have two of these. I don't know where the other one is right now. I think just the way they got separated. Kobe out of 10, the Crown Royal. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the way it got separated. Oh, yeah, because here's the other one. Bingo, bango. One's yellow and one was, uh, or this, I guess I'm calling this gold. It looks yellow to me. This is another Kobe White out of 10. And yeah, another Kobe White. This one's out of 20. You've got the Colin Sexton Auto. And that's on, this is just authenticated. Yeah. Cool. Clyde the Glide, 1986. Courtney got excited and she was so, I've never seen somebody so pissed off. And then also like, hey, this is a really cool card, but it's not Jordan. Yeah. Larry Legend. No, this one's in here, but I don't have this one priced to sell because I'm not sure I want to sell this one. Fair, fair warning. This is, Courtney had this from when she was a, a wee little girl. Yes, I've had this card forever and I have it priced too high. Nobody's going to want to buy it. And being that you're 21, Courtney, you've had it going on about 15, 16 years. Yes. DeAndre Hunter, silver, and the Emmanuel Quigley Revolution rookie card. So funny because I always forget we have this card and... I always think it's somebody else every time I pick it up. I don't know why. Every single time. Probably because of all the wine. <laughs> Steph Curry, numbered out of five. Like we said, we have a lot of stuff. So there's a series of rookies in here. Um, studio. You've got the Panini. You've got the Prestige. Another certified potential, numbered out of five, Hundo. You got the, this is cool. This is the rookie sticker. Yeah, the it's panini sticker. It's a neat one. So yeah, a lot of a lot of Steph Curry. There's even more. Yeah, 
a lot more. This is just what we're bringing with us. Yeah. Another Steph rookie, another Steph rookie. Center stage 10, another Steph rookie. Obviously we think basketball is getting ready to take off and so we're coming to make sure we have stuff readily available for the fine folks of Shipshawana. Yes. Top's finest rookie. Now this might be not, not our most expensive card by no means, but just the way the light hits this card and with him getting ready to throw down and put his nuts on somebody's head, it's a badass looking card. This is probably, it's so funny, this is probably one of Jeremy's favorite favorite cards that we have currently. Big ups to Courtney on this one. She found this one digging through the LCS. Yeah, it was pretty. Ah, the elements of the game. This is another really cool one. The cutting edge. Fun fact, we we got this and I, I couldn't believe it got a nine. This is like a 20 something year old card with like 70,000 edges and it's a it's in beautiful shape. Yeah. So. Crush that one. Let's save these for last. All right. We got the Jordan numbered out of 50, I believe. Thick stock. Yep. More Fat Jordan. Boy. More Jordan. So just to be clear, we own multiple of the StarQuest. I feel like that's been a question. Even though we posted it on our Instagram, we had two of these. And so. if you actually go back to our Instagram, you can follow the timeline where I surprised Courtney with flowers and StarQuest. Yes, that is true. And then the Pop One Rare Air Jordan Metal. Numbered out of 1994. All right, you got the Kobe White Disco RPA, numbered out of 10. LeBron James. Trey. Trey Young. And you got the Kobe Fireworks. That's a cool one. And anybody that wants to go gambling and try to go pull something crazy, we've got the Kobe Redemption Pack. The entire pack. PSA, PSA 10. 10. That's with, a thick boy right there. With all the paperwork and the original redemption and everything. So Yeah. So yeah, this is um these are the cards that we we've decided to bring to the show. Um, not really sure what to expect. Um, obviously, we think we're we're optimistic, right? I think so. I think you know we're we're personable. People uh, know us now. I feel like, and hopefully, they want to do deals with us. Yeah, and I, I think being approachable is the big thing. I know oftentimes I go to a show, and sometimes I don't want to say I'm intimidated, but I'll be quiet, especially if the person at the booth is not you know talking to me or doesn't seem like inclined to make a deal. I'm hopeful that people will see that, you know, if it's fair and we can do it, we will gladly pass along savings uh, yeah. to you. And plus, you know, like I've said before, we started this out as just like hobbyists and now we've kind of come full circle where we do this. It's, you know, we do it, some of it to make money, some of it so we can keep the cards we really want. And at, at the end of the day, we love the cards. And if someone comes up and they love this card, you know, I want to help them get it, so. Sure, sure, and that's why we share. And, you know, maybe this will be a complete dumpster fire. Yeah, maybe and we'll then, do a terrible job. And then we'll have a how-to video. It's like, okay, we're going to have you watch this reckless video. Do the opposite of everything of those two <laughs> yahoos, and you'll be aces. <laughs> you know, so just in recap, we want our stuff clearly marked. We want to show that it, we took the time to prepare. Um, we want people to know that we're approachable. And at the end of the day, we're there. We want to meet people. We want to we want to cultivate friendships. And um, shout out to B Sports Cards because they have put this show on. It's a one year anniversary of um, doing this show, and it has grown exponentially since they started it. And it is like it's taken off, and that's a lot of work. So like ups to them for that. Yeah, and I think the, the smart thing they did is. Uh, they're like, we need to have a quality show, so we're going to touch base with Reckless Cards. Yeah, absolutely. They're like, they begged us to come, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did not. They, they did not. We actually hit them up. Yeah, no, we paid them thousands of dollars. <laughs> they were reluctant to even let us in the building. They were like, no. They heard the story about uh, Courtney and Boone's Farm, and they're like, hard pass. <laughs> this is a family event. The, the, fun, the fun thing is, is it's actually a really affordable show, too, on top of it. So it's, I'm very excited. I think it's super cool. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if you've attended shows, tell us what you think in the comments. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you think we did right, what you think we did wrong. 
and uh, we'll do some kind of giveaway, maybe a slab that we have left over from the show. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Where can the fine folks follow us, Court Court? You can check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, and on Discord at Reckless Cards. You can follow us on Twitter at Reckless underscore cards. And if you like, um, Tim, if you're listening, please turn the volume down. If you like what you're seeing here, feel free to subscribe. Go ahead and ring that bell. And you know, like this video, even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I don't care, whatever. Yeah, I think I read recently you have to you have to invoke a reaction out of somebody, whether it's good or bad. There is no being neutral anymore, so it's a lot easier for me. I naturally just piss people off, so I'm gonna go with what I'm best at, and we're gonna drive our followership down to zero. All right, well, excellent. Thanks uh, for hanging out this whole long ass video, and we hope to see you at Shipshawana. Bye. Bye.